A year ago tonight, Mitch captured the SOS championship down at Merrittville. It rained here, and they just barely got the race in down at Merrittville. I was down for that one. He clinched the title down at Merrittville this year. Didn't run for points with the SOS, but like you say, champion here at Oshweekin Speedway. And I know he's very proud of that accomplishment. So we're set to go here on heat race number one for the Create Sprint Cars. Mike Thorne and Jesse McDonald lead them to the chalk line in turn four, and here we go. Well, Mike Thorne will lead them down into quarter number one with the champion from 2016. Right there with him, Jesse McDonald. The 55, 88, and the 87 of Sean Evans break away as your top three. A quick track for the Create Sprint Cars here tonight. We'll get some lap times on them as they come through. 15 second bracket on the first lap. They might get into the 14s here before we're done as Thorne has broken away from the rest of the field so far. Thorne works it off a of corner four to lead the lap with McDonald in second, Evans in third. They got the slinger, Ryan Hunslinger finishing out the year with that borrowed motor from the McGlone Motorsports team running right there in fourth. Coming to the cross flags, three and three to go for your leader, Mike Thorne. Thorne having his way with the field right now as McDonald fighting off the challenges of Sean Evans. Evans has really gotten a lot quicker over the last few weeks. Got a runner-up position a couple weeks ago in that 87X car. And he's looking to try to get around the outside of McDonald, but can't do it that time. But two to go now for Thorne at the front. And now Evans will get the job done in turns one and two. He takes the second spot away from your 2016 track champion. Here comes McDonald, though. Back to the inside, white flag out for Thorne as they run side by side for second. Evans grabs second spot of the line, but McDonald's fights back on the bottom. They're going at it tooth and nail for the runner up spot. Coming to the checkered flag, Mikey Bobby, Mike Thorne will pick up the win in heat race number one. Jesse McDonald comes home second over Sean Evans, Ryan Hunsinger, Brad Heron, Holly Porter, and Josh Shaw. So there he is, your winner of heat race number one in the Burger Barn Ace Points Construction number 55. It's Mikey Bobby Mike Thorne. And I'll tell you what, Tommy, I was talking to his girlfriend, Laura Hughes, uh, this past week, and she just we were talking about how Mike's been right there in the thick of it but just can't catch any luck. Last Friday night, he broke a to torsion bar in the car, lucky to hold on to it. Had a good run going, so Mike comes out and grabs the win in the first qualifying heat. Good to see for the Burger Barn driver. This is the kind of track that Mike likes, tacky, and has a cushion, so we'll keep an eye. White flag goes up in the air. Next time by, we'll go green flag racing following this race. Right up after this qualifying heat, it's time for the monster trucks. They're going to do their wheelie competition. It'll be first up. So get ready for the monster trucks. Black Stallion and Overkill Evolution ready to come out onto the speedway. But first, we've got the Strickland GMC Crate Sprint Cars. Their second and final qualifying heat brought to you by McDonald's of Brantford and Paris. Mac the man, Jerry Hill, will bring them to the green. Here we go with heat race number two. Mac the man, who, if he'd run a full season, might have had the championship in his grasp. But he missed a few weeks with an engine problem. Got several feature wins, though. And he has the lead here. McGlone trying to work on Hill for that second spot. Demand leads him off the corner. Here comes McGlone. He's been looking very racy now in that 6M. Works the inside line on Hill. They'll go wheel to wheel off a of corner number two and down the back stretch. And we see the 51 of Chad Corcoran has joined the field here. So 15 cars officially signed in as he joins the tail of this one and makes a move to move up into the top four already. Up front, it's the four of Mac Demand as he'll come around to get the halfway signal this time by. Lucas Oil Ride has been on cruise control many nights here at Oshweekin Speedway. And like you said, Tommy, not for those engine problems. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Might have been the champion aboard car number four, the standout driver in the TQ Midgets. He'll come down to make it two laps to go. So far, his lap time's not quite as quick as Mike Thorne was in heat race number one. So Thorne still has that Auckland Insurance Award in his grasp unless the man can get a little quicker here second has been a good race for most of this race as McGlone still working on the 49h of hill for second one more time around for mac demand in the lucas oil number four he leads them down the back stretch of the battle for a second 
the best one on the track right now as he comes off of four. Mac Man will take the win. Who's going to get second at the line? It's going to be Hill over McGlone. Another good fight behind them as Turkey beats a Corcoran. Then it's Hill, Bowden, and Young. So there he is, your winner of heat race number two from Mississauga, the Lucas Oil Oakwood transfer at number four, Mac Deman. So we will clear out all the rescue workers from the infield. I'm sure some of the photographers will want to relocate with Jerry Hill and Mikey Bobby, Mike Thorne on the front row. <laughs> 20 laps the distance in this one for the Strickland Crate Sprint Car Division. Hill and Thorne will bring them to corner number four. Kyle McKenzie with the double greens in hand. We're ready to turn them loose. Here we go, Mikey Bobby, Mike Thorne with perhaps his best chance at a feature win so far in his great sprint car career. Jets out to the lead here in that number 55 car. Hill still holding second as his teammate Evans in the 87 goes after that spot. Had some close moments there in the start of that one, but they all come through clean and green with Mikey Bobby, Mike Thorne leading them down the back stretch over Jerry Hill and Sean Evans. Evans has been improving each and every week. Got a runner-up finish a couple weeks ago, and he would definitely like to better that in his Ackland Insurance 87 car. Here comes Hill now to the inside on Thorne with a bid for the lead. Hill shows the nose down in corner number three, challenging for the lead, coming off of four. At the line, give the lead to Jerry Hill over Mike Thorne. So Hill goes back to the lead here after he started on the pole and saw Thorne go around him on the start. The man in the four up to third now as he gets around the 87 of Evans. Then Jesse McDonald, the track champ on the move, going to work on the 87 of Evans. Good racing mid-pack as Holly Porter and Aaron Turkey go at it. Near collision there. And then Eric McGlone gets in trouble. And now gets a little bit of contact from Weller who goes around and the yellow flag will come out. And something might be broken on the 6M of McGlone as he comes to a stop in corner two. The nose wing. Yeah, the front, end, the front end is broken, says Dale Callan, our photographer down there on that 6M car. And he shot up into corner number one. Thorne sitting in second and Mac Deman in third. I wouldn't be surprised to see Mac Deman to the top of the pile here before too long the way he's run this year. Yeah, and Jesse McDonald is back there as well. He got the feature win last Friday night. Single file they go past the cone. Everybody makes it past clean and green, and we are underway as the man makes a bid for the second spot to the inside of Thorne. Couldn't get it done in one and two, but again, he goes to work in three and four and pulls the slide job, takes over the second spot. Here comes Thorne back to the inside in one and two. Yeah, fights right back on the bottom side, and authoritatively takes away second spot. Troubles, all kinds of troubles down in corner number two. Cars going everywhere. Looks like troubles for the 18 of Josh Schantz who breaks the left front. It's Holly Porter that spun and going the wrong direction. And then with five laps on the board, the yellow flag flies again. So Holly Porter. Pretty wild from what I understand. Ready to come back to the green flag. Jerry Hill leads Mike Thorne second. It's uh, before Mac Deman right there in position number three. He'll make the charge at the bottom side of Mike Thorne. The Thorne holds him off for the second spot. Well, Hill's strategy of a slow pace coming up to the restart area in turn four paid off as he got on the hammer and took off from the rest of the field for the moment. Thorne and Deman has the rest of the field trying to catch back up now. Hill doing a nice job here looking for his first win here at Oswegan Speedway in the Crate Sprint Car Division. The battle is for second. It's Mac Demand working to the inside of the 55 of Mike Thorne as they go at it for the runner-up spot. And another good fight between Sean Evans and Jesse McDonald battling for fourth and fifth. Thorne in his customary groove. Actually, now he dives down about a lane and a half trying to keep Demand from getting a run, but Thorne likes to run that cushion 
up in, with that right rear and the looser, cooler dirt up there, but not the fast way around right now as demand takes over the second spot. Across the stripe another time, completing nine laps on the board, 11 to go for Jerry Hill, who leads over Mac Demand, Mike Thorne, then it's Jesse McDonald, Sean Evans, Ryan Hunsinger right now, sixth, seventh is Heron, eighth is Turkey, ninth is Porter, and tenth is Jordan Hill. Well, now that the man has gotten into some clear track, he's just run the two quickest laps of the race, down to the 15.2 second mark, as he has eaten into that lead that Hill built up, and the man now is there less than half a second behind your leader. Now Mike Thorne's feeling pressure from the 88 of Jesse McDonald, the champ. Working on the inside line of Mike Thorne as they go through one and two, give McDonald the spot for the moment as Thorne tucks back in line and fourth. Oh, contact between Brent Weller and Davey Bowden. Those two keep it righted, but that was right in front of your leader, Jerry Hill. So those two will keep it clean and green here as the man is right there on the back end of Hill, but now the yellow flag has come out. Officials were keeping an eye on something down in corner number one. And the safety crew gets down there and they will pick it up. Oh, a big chunk of metal down there. And it was yellow. It looks like maybe the, yeah, it is the, no, maybe not. Thought it was the sideboard off of Brad Heron's wing. The sideboard off of Holly. Just lost the wheel and ended up on his side down there in corner three. We're going to have to go red flag now as the 18 of Davey Bowden has lost the left rear wheel. Fortunately, that happened under yellow. Ashton's going to get it. That was your biggest moment ever, Ashton. You could retire. Well, we get the safety workers down there. They're trying to roll over the 18 axe, which is a good sign. It means the driver is okay. So Davey Bouton has a wheel hop off. Well, Tommy, we get down here on the scene for Davey Bouton, and it looks like simply the left rear wheel has come off here of this 18X. We'll get in here and have a better look. They use one large uh, lock nut on there, and it also has a cotter pin. If the cotter pin's not locked in, it can easily slide out, and yeah, it appears that just the wheel has come off here. Nothing appears to be broken on the 18X. Tough break for... Davey Bouton, who was getting his season back together, but either way, not major damage. That's the solid anyways here for the 18X. I have to wonder, there was a little contact for him the lap previous between he and the 51 of Weller. I wonder if that had anything to do with it. Possibly not, but Bouton ends up on his side. He's out of the car. We can see him there on the screen for those watching at home. Here's your feature finish from down at Merrittville for the Southern Ontario Sprint. Dylan Westbrook back to victory lane with another feature win for the Rookie of the Year here at Oshwiken. Second was Ryan Susie's. Third, Chris Jones. Uh, Fourth, Jamie Turner. Oh, Jamie. Jamie Turner, my mistake. Jamie Turner finishes a strong third place. Then Ryan Turner. Sean Slater, Jim Hoopinen. Jake Brown, Mitch Brown, Todd Hoddock, and Adam West round out. Phenomenal rookie season for him. He was the champion of this division one year ago. Jesse McDonald, who sits third right now, he is the champion here in 2016. Does he have anything for the top two? We'll find out. Eight laps left to go. Jerry Hill brings him to the green. File past the cone again. Mac the man tried to get a run on Hill in turn one and two, but Hill went to the bottom side to block any of that sort of a move. The man will have to try to figure out a different way around the driver of the 49H. What a charge by the gunslinger. Ryan Hunsinger works the bottom line, gets by Sean Evans. Nearly had Mike Thorne as well as he works on the back end of the Burger Barn 55. Oh, Hunsinger missed the corner there a bit and drops back. Here comes Evans trying to take that fifth spot back. As up front, Demand now gets to the inside of Hill out of corner four, but can't complete that move yet. Six laps now to go for Hill at the front. Hill trying to pick up his first win here at Oshweekin Speedway. He's got Mac Demand right back there in that second spot. Jesse McDonald running third, five laps to go. This is Kyle McKenzie. Demand now has dropped back a bit as Hill looking for hers, his first ever 
Crate Sprint Car feature win in his rookie season in these winged machines. 50 kilometers an hour or over 100 miles an hour. So the extra horsepower of the 360s does make a difference, but the crates are plenty fast enough on their own. And here we go, green flag again with Hill leading the way with five to go. Hill looking for that first career win right there in the lead with Mac Demann all over the back end of him and the Lucas Oil Ford. Jesse McDonald holding down third. Here comes Demann, makes a charge on the bottom of Hill. Coming off a corner number four at the line, Mac Demann, your leader. And Demann it. Nose is ahead at the line, and now Hill slides up in corner one and two. Demand starts to pull away. McDonald making moves in the 88 car, trying to catch up to the top two. Just three laps left to go for Mac Demand, who's had a phenomenal 2016 season. He sails it down into corner number three, and this time by, he'll see the uprights from Kyle McKenzie. Two to go. Now Aaron Turkey with a spin in corner. Oh, and a big crash there. Turkey got spun around and Weller hit him right in the right rear tire. That was a hard collision up in corner three. Aaron Turkey throwing the safety apparel outside of the car. Victory in lane at least once here. Another feature win for Mac Demand would tie him for the all time lead in the crate sprint car division as Ryan Hunsinger leads the way with eight. Back to man has seven feature wins so far in his crate sprint car career. How many of those this year? Five already? Let me go look that up. Uh, okay. Yeah, I thought that might have been a... In, yeah. Might have been some sort of race car <laughs> sticker on there, but... Coming back to the green flag, Mac to man is your leader over Jerry Hill, Jesse McDonald, and Mike Thorne. Two laps to settle at the battles for second. Yeah, McDonald got to the inside on Hill there. Can't get the move done yet, though, as those two race into corner three. The man will come out and get the white flag. One lap left to go for him. Back to man goes for win number six on the season. What could have been for the driver, the Lucas Oil number four, as he leads him off a corner four. Checkers in the air. Back to man wins it over Jesse McDonald, Jerry Hill, Mike Thorne, and Sean Evans. Hunsinger, Heron, Porter, Hill, and Turkey round out the top 10. We'll send Greg Kalman. Lomo Fireworks lighting up the sky. Lomo Fireworks Highway 54 in Middleport. Official firework provider of Oshweekin Speedway. Down here in Mobile One Victory Lane. At eight in the division. Here he is going up on the wing. It's Mac Dubin. Jesse McDonald, the champ, comes home in second. Jerry Hill with a career best third place here tonight. Don't forget, this wins on the year. If you hadn't had those motor problems, man, what could have been this year? But you still got to be happy. I thought this was number seven. Well, okay, seven. We'll give you a seven. We did the count, but you've got the tie now with uh, Ryan Hunsinger for the overall wins as well. Pretty impressive. Yeah, I mean, to miss three races and still get seven is like, you just hope to get one feature win over the winter, right? That's the plan, go out and run good every week. And to run this good every week with four shocks, <laughs> those are the only four shocks we own, but the car loves them. So uh, I just can't thank my guys enough and my sponsors enough for uh, such an unbelievable season. Who would you like to thank? First and foremost, thank all these awesome fans. Great crowd out here tonight. Hope you guys enjoy the show. Uh, this monster truck's gonna put some work into Jesse's trailer here. I uh, just thank my competitors, my sponsors, Lucas Oil, Centerline Elevator, Fast Track Performance, Remax, RBC, Amanda Green, just everyone who gets this car to the track and everyone at this track, all the safety crew, everyone who runs the show here. We only got one more left. Make sure you come back for the Sprint Car Nationals next week. There you have it. It was either six or seven wins. Either way, he was the most dominant driver in 2016. It's Mac to Man. Up next, we'll bring up Jesse McDonald. Jesse, second place here tonight. Great season for you. You capture that championship. We'll move out of the way of the photos here. Now we're going to smash your trailer. Overall, a good night. What do you mean you're going to smash my trailer? Well, turn around. Uh, 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 what am I going to sleep in tonight? 
Clint offered the crew pizza and beer next week if they'd pull the trailer out. So uh, I guess you're on your own. Well, I need somewhere to sleep now tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Jess, would you like to thank for such a good year? Uh, I want to thank Renway. I want to thank uh, Schwiegen Speedway, Glenn Steyer, Steyer's Racing. I want to thank the fans for coming out. It's a packed house. It's awesome. Happy with third, though. Oh, no, that was, that was a blast to drive this car tonight. I couldn't, I couldn't be no more happier than what the outcome tonight. And you're running up there with the best of the best with Mac, the man, and Jesse McDonald, the champ, and the guy with the most wins. you got to have a lot of confidence heading into next year. Yeah, no, the car felt great. It was a huge learning experience this year. It was just, it was just more or less getting laps after laps after laps after laps, and it finally, finally paid off.